Okay, so now we're starting this stream. Uh, what I have today is Juncal Solano. She is from the, uh, uh, it's the Charro Politico. Charro. <laughs> that's that outfit that guy has on. And that's the name of her channel. She's very good, very good uh, at her job, very quick, quick-witted, and she cracks me up because she reminds me of my cousin Vilma. But anyway, uh, here's a, a video that she did today, and it's kind of what I had already thought of, um, and I had already started to do a video, but I'm going to go ahead and use hers um, because she got some good video footage from a friend. Um, anyway, so here goes. So they were yelling, we want to get in, we want to get in. Uh, let me just go a little bit further, right there. So she says, today things are getting crazy. And here's what you didn't see during the morning meeting, what they did not show. Now this was before the morning, uh, uh, before the morning um, conference. Uh, that um, that this this stuff was occurring, so she's gonna let you see. Okay. Y es que resulta que quisieron entrar, mandaron a presidentes municipales e inclusive a líderes políticos. So so she said that they sent. Um, Dug on it. <laughs> So they sent political uh, leaders from uh, the pre-group, which is the equivalent of, say, um, uh, the Republican Party. And so also they had some there from the PAN and the PRD, which is uh, the, um, uh, like the comparable to the Democratic Party. And um, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador has his own party, which is Morena, which was the independent party. And so they're kind of all at odds with each other right now. But here's why. So they, all these uh, leaders from uh, governors and, and all this from other um, states came and showed up today at the, uh, at the palace. And, uh, and this is what she says. And so they simulated like they were um, throwing uh, artifacts that were bombs or something like that, but they were just firecrackers. So they were trying to scare all the people that were inside the uh, conference. So she says the problem here is why, what happened and why all of a sudden are they... So why today do they begin these protests? So yesterday, uh, uh, Alfonso Hens, the guy that's in charge of the taxes, uh, announced that they're going to be doing some investigations. So they uh, were checking on the infiltration of political uh, uh, leaders that were in, uh, being infiltrated. And they had uh, people that were identified as being from Washington, from the U.S. And they were in our country. And they were working with political groups in Mexico. And so this was the investigation that they were about to start. And apparently they didn't like this very much. So then they gathered up all their croonies and sent them to go to the uh, presidential palace. So they sent him to create a disturbance outside of the palace. Because they were trying to scare the president, Manuel López Obrador. And to make him feel like his life was in danger. 
vinieron. After what happened in uh, in the uh, city of Sinaloa, uh, the conf confrontations that happened there. I'm trying to match her size here. Okay, let's go here. And so all of that happened on the 17th of October last week. So she says, so she says, pay attention because um, the uh, the groups got together to trying to protect the gringos, which is the Americans, the U.S. the U.S. people that uh, they're working for. <laughs> So Sandy Aguilera is the one who shared this video uh, regarding uh, what happened outside the palace. She took video. And she goes every day to the morning uh, conference. So there's the video. So they were uh, like trying to get in the door. And you could see Lord Molecula was outside of there too. That was in the morning uh, before the conference. So Sandy said, they want to knock down the door. I'm scared. So Nacho Rodriguez, El Chapucero, said this was a very worrisome video that Sandy Aguilera uh, did regarding uh, them trying to break down the door. <coughs> so who was it? And who, who were they talking about? Who was, who was it that was outdoors doing that? But of course, then they found out that it was the opposers, the ones that um, are always um, uh, opposing AMLO. So it was the PRI, the PAN, and the PRD. So those are the, the, the three other political parties. So what was the pretext, quote unquote? Or what was the simulation? So they they assured that they were um, uh, protesting and that they got a little bit aggressive because they wanted more money from the president for their so so they wanted more money for their budget. But she said someone that was maybe a little more naive might have believed them. And that might be what the media, the press that, that covers their butts might be saying something like that. So she says that they're going to say, or they're trying to say that the president is not giving money to the parties. And or to the municipal presidents. So, but what really is happening is that yesterday, Alejandro Germaneros, and he's going to be investigating what uh, suggestion that they had that that the U.S. has people working here in Mexico and that they've bought governors and presidents of, of the municipalities. And one of the clear examples was what they let uh, be known uh, last week with what occurred in uh, Culiacán, Mexico. So they had spoken to the governor there 
that had uh, been there with the when the confrontation happened. And that's where we saw the the uh, liberation of uh, Guzman, Chapo Guzman's son. So because they knew there was going to be problems now with this situation, they started to generate disturbances. So that they met in the morning in front of the palace and they were demanding more money. That's why they were breaking down the door. Bueno, como repito, esto fue lo que nos quisieron vender. So that's the bill of goods they tried to sell us. Esto fue con lo que nos quisieron engañar. And that's what they tried to fool us with. Pero te voy a presentar lo siguiente. But let me show you the following. Y es que el día de ayer, Alejandro Gertzmanero, pues a mí. So yesterday, Alejandro Hertz Manero, he's the fiscal general or the district attorney general of the uh, republic. So he announced that they're going to be um, uh, reviewing, examining the governors and the uh, municipal presidents because they are not actually working for the actual president, the Mexican president, López Obrador. But instead, they are working for the government of the United States, especially and particularly to these uh, supposed centers of security. And I do it in, inside quotes. Because we actually know it's not actually security. But it's more of a control that's being done by the DEA. So now we're going to see the video. So in the month of September, the government of the United States requested the detention um, that they wanted to extradite this individual, the one that Chapo Guzman's son. So this information was received from the Secretary of External Relations, which I believe is Abdad. And the district attorney of the Republic has it. And along with other requests for extraditions in the group. So now they want to give a piece of data that is very relevant or important. We this year alone, Hemos hecho una cada we have done an extradition every week. Cada todo el año. This every week during this whole year. Hacia los Unidos. And these were extraditions fundamentally to the United States and other foreign agencies. Y a otros 